Dela Wright, my envy this. Welcome. Now, um, Romo making the rounds on social media is that the charge and bail lawyer who issued Olori Nami a restraining order in, uh, on behalf of Olori um, Mariam, Olori Igbi, has been arrested. Now, um, last week there was this rumor that was making rounds on social media that um, a restraining order has been issued to Olori Nami to stay far away from the owner of Ife. And that restraining order um, was alleged to be coming from a customer record. Okay. We do know, I saw a lot of comments where people were asking that they got married traditionally what has a court got to do with it it's important for people to understand that we have customer record that deals with uh, traditional issues in Nigeria so when a person gets married traditionally and something begins or things begin to go wrong in that marriage perhaps divorce is difficult maybe traditional um, the, the traditional rulers are not you know, opting up for divorce or something that becomes very complicated. Where you take issues like that, or even like land issues, dispute and all of that, you take them to customary courts. And so right now we have that there um, was a restraining order that was issued um, to Olori and now me to stay very close and um, far away from the owner of Ife that that restraining order was issued on behalf of Olori Ikmi. And that is what we are hearing. It's important to bear in mind that these are all alleged information. I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife. Neither am I related to anyone in the palace of the Oni of Ife. And like I would say to my lovely Dela Wright, whatever information you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. So right now, they said this lawyer, I, I, I said that perhaps maybe it's a charge and bail. The reason why I'm saying maybe it's a charge and bail is because, you know, a lawyer is supposed to know that Nami was actually married, like traditionally. Uh, traditionally. So she's got, you know, customary right to her husband, to the owner of Ife. Nobody has the right to issue a in order for her to stay away from her husband when there was no divorce. Now, um, um, everything was based on the fact, from the letter, they said everything was based on the fact that Nami had already divorced the only of Ife on social media. Were they married on social media? No, they, they were married under an institution, law guiding a, 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 an institution, which happens to be the customary uh, law in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And so now nobody has the right to do that. So right now we are hearing that the lawyer who issued that, um, 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 you know, um, restraining order has been arrested. And so um, they, they want to find out where and how and, you know, what gives her or what gave her that audacity to go and uh, give Olori Naomi a restraining order? And was that restraining order actually coming from a, a, a court of law in the Federal Republic of Nigeria? And that is what this is all about. Now, you do know that a lot of those people do not understand that the only of Ife love Queen Naomi so much. Only of Ife is going to back Queen Naomi up. Only of Ife is going to be fair for Queen Naomi. Only of Ife is going to fight to keep Queen Naomi. Now, anybody who does not have that understanding at this point in time, maybe one person who is in a very serious delusion. Because Only of Ife is a king the last time I checked, and a first class king at that, he is wealthy, he has everything. Now, only of Ife will marry 150 wives at the snap of his finger. Let him just call them the run. I told you people, I've talked to you people about, I've talked to you about pro proximity, okay? Proximity is power everywhere in the world. Now, all of these women who are busy fighting Queen Naomi, a very smart woman who will enter the life of the only of Ife will leverage on that opportunity to build a conglomerate for herself. Pro that is what proximity does. Now, I, I spoke to you about the fact that nobody knew Lori Ashley, nobody knew Lori Maria, Timmy Tokwe, Ronke, maybe because of African Fashion Week and um, a London Fashion Week, some people may have known Ronke, and maybe because of the uh, 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 issue of um, pageantry and all of that, some may have known Lori Toby. But for the rest of them, nobody knew them. But today, you and I are talking about them. We are concerned about knowing what's happening to them. What is that is because they are close to the only of Ife, and that is why I say proximity is power. I've told you time and time again that Andy Uba made tons of 
millions of naira from the Nigerian government just because he was very close to Obasanjo. That is what proximity brings to the table, the kind of value that proximity brings to the table. Now, why am I taking our time to explain this? I'm explaining this because of those who go to my comment section to say, what are these women seeing with Oni of Ife? What are these women seeing? See, they are seeing something. I am not going to lie to you. Any woman that wants to be, you know, be known, they want to get married to the Oni of Ife. Look at what Inkeshi Blessing was doing that time. You think that if Oni of Ife had said, okay, I want to marry you, she will not, she will. And so this is it. So right now, anybody who is coming into the life of the Oni of Ife, even those who are already in the life of the Oni of Ife, I think it's important for them to know that this man loves Queen Naomi. At least we are not there, but that is what we are hearing. That is what we hear every day on social media. How Oni is going back and forth, you know, with Olori Naomi. How Oni is saying that he's never going to leave the woman, that he loves the woman. Initially, before Toby gave birth to that, um, uh, her uh, twin, we were thinking a lot of people thought that this has got to do with Tadenikawo. But with what is happening now, and of course you and I agree that this has nothing to do with Tadenikawo. It's all about Naomi. He loves Naomi so much he wants to be with Naomi. So anybody who is standing and fighting against Queen Naomi, Oni Avife has stated clearly that if you fight Queen Naomi, the beef is double. You fight Queen Naomi means you're fighting me. You fight Queen Naomi means, you know, you don't want me um, to be a part of your life. And that is why you see Dr. Elizabeth um, uh, um, um, Okwe Olua seem to be having a very beautiful time with the Oni of Ife because, you know, there's something he said, wisdom is profitable to direct. That woman has gotten to a point where she got to uh, realize that, you see, if I want to do this, if I want it to go well with me, I will be um, I will be supportive towards um, Olori Naomi. And that is the reason why I do think that she is where she is right now. The other day we heard that she moved some of her things to um, the Olori mansion. O Olori Naomi started crying. She was crying. They said the entire time Olori Naomi was very, very sad. I, I, I want to believe that if Naomi returns back to the palace. You see the kind of person that Naomi is. Naomi might ask that woman to return back to the palace. Now, why is Dr. Elizabeth enjoying the marriage? She's because she understood that, you see, to be on the right side of the Oni of Ife, you must be on the right side of, you know, um, um, uh, oh, Lori Naomi. At some point, I thought Toby understood that, but over time, I, I found out from what, if everything we keep hearing on social media is the truth, well, I also found out that maybe Toby does not understand these things yet. Now, so uh, uh, they said they're restraining other thing with the lawyer. It's not going well with the lawyer at all. Now, the lawyer, they say, is running kitty kata, kata, kitty, kitty kata. You know, somebody came and asked you to do something. Are you, do you have the, the capacity to fight the owning of Ife? Eh? Who, who, who gave you that muzzle to think that you can fight the owning of Ife? Because when you fight Pinaomi, the beef is double. So right now, they say that woman has been arrested, as it is rumored. And so that is the new katakata that is going on. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.